Hey everybody, it's Amir and I'm doing a Skyrim Elder Scrolls V review. And uh, yeah. And so pretty much it's pretty cool. The Skyrim game comes with a a map of Skyrim and you can access that map actually through uh your game. You can press the map and all that stuff. And the game uh, actually gives you an option. You can either do first person mode, which is like Call of Duty with the gun, except you can do magic, shouts, dragon shouts, you could get a bow and arrow, you can do a, a lot more. Call of Duty is amazing though. But anyways, in Skyrim, you can either switch third person view, that your player's in front of you, or um, first person view, like I just said. And, uh, something really cool about it is that even after you play it like because <clears throat> on the Skyrim I got it shows you how many hours of gameplay I think it does that for all of them and even after a hundred hours you'll you'll still find a bunch of quests and it will still be really fun and addicting so um, I'd, uh, I'd rate this game uh, probably four and a half stars the reason why four and a half is because you might find some stuff some glit some stuff can be glitchy um, but not really it's it's really nice you know you could it like it's actually pretty good graphics it really depends actually what system you get it on I have it for PC it's really good um, so yeah I'd say four and a half stars bye